trail leg wise, a uh, similar problem. Okay, if your toe's pointing down, okay, this is my lead leg to my trail leg. So if my toe's pointing down, I'll use this here. I'll use it to the side here. My toe's pointing down. Uh, let, let's do it right first. My toe's pointing up. I'm on the balls of my feet. Then I'm, um, boom. Okay, I'm right here. Toes pointing up, I'm able to go from here to here. Okay, see my ankle flexed? Okay. Um, and then when I drive to the front, I will be able to miss the hurdle. I won't hit it. I'll miss the hurdle and be able to drive to the front. Okay. If that toe's pointing down, I'm going to clip the hurdle. Okay. So the difference between this and this is everything. <laughs> okay. Ankle flexed. Okay. The other thing about, uh, having the toe pointing down and not having the ankle flex of trail leg is that it creates an extra motion that, that prevents you from, from being able to get the trail leg all the way to here. Okay, so instead of the trail leg coming up to here, if, you, if your toe is pointing down, your ankles aren't flexed, the toe will come here. Knee pointing down, heel up. Okay, so now you're going to be all this way and now to get the leg, leg to the front, you're going to have to twist your hips and, and your arms to get it to the front. And by the time the lead leg lands, the trail leg will be more, will be about right here. It won't be here. You won't be able to face the front because you won't have time. Lead leg, lead leg is not gonna wait on you. <laughs> so the trail leg can't get to the front in time because, because not because it's too slow, but because it started by going backwards instead of going, instead of going forwards, okay? So what I always emphasize to my hurdlers and my athletes is that if you wanna fix flaws in your hurdling mechanics, Look at your sprint mechanics.